But so have you ever bankrupted the guy? I mean, I've been told that they were late on rent because of me, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So he could have been homeless. This one dude sent me a screenshot of his bank account. It was like negative $300. He, he uh, what is it, overdrafted? Mm -hmm. And then the other question, uh, uh, knowing, like, if, I know you said some of these guys, maybe they're, like, doing a role, like, kind of a role play where they're not being honest, but assuming they are honest, um, would you have any qualms, like, if it, because, I mean, financial insecurity or being broke, going homeless, going into debt, having to go through bankruptcy, uh, I guess these things are, are pretty bad things for somebody. Yeah, it must uh, Would there be a line for, for either of you? Is, here's this guy. He's paying you $1,000, $2,000 a month, but he's also simultaneously telling you, as part of his kink, that he's, he is going to be evicted, he's going to have debt, he's going to be bankrupted. Uh, would you, but he still wants to keep sending you money, would you stop him? No. No? Um, it's his own free will. Another thing about Finnam is I had a guy tell me his concerns like that before, and... I like sat on a phone call with him because he was actually just crying to me that sorry crying to me that he couldn't stop sending money to girls on the internet. So I called him and we went over like how much he made. I gave him a budget for everything. So when he gets paid, it just like he sends it all directly to me, and then I send back the money for like mm -hmm. his rent and food and everything. But so, but I mean, no. In the scenario I provided, would you keep going? Wait, wait, wait a second. What? He call, You talk to him on the phone, and he sends his entire paycheck to you, and then you send him enough to pay his rent. Yes. Hmm. Wait, so to my question, though, in the, scenario, in the scenario I provided to you, would you keep going? If they said they were getting evicted? All the way to bankruptcy. Sending? Yes. He gave you all his money? Yes. And knowing if you knew that this would lead to them being homeless, would you keep going? It's like an awkward question because I'll never really know. Well, let's assume you do. Or in they'll this be homeless hypothetical. And really happy. Um. They'll be happy and homeless? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. If sure. I, if he doesn't stop himself. But would you keep, do if you I keep going? If I knew them as like a real person and... They're one of your pay pigs. I know, but if I knew them, let's say in real life, I had some like eye into their world, and I they were actually going homeless, I wouldn't. I don't need the money that bad that I would like do that to just one person when there's other pay pigs that can compensate. For what if there weren't people. other pay pigs in just this one? Still, I don't need the money that bad. I'm not sure I believe you, but yeah. um, can I ask you this this sort of similar question? Let's say somebody had a self and yeah. they wanted you to bully them and to the point where they eventually would uh, delete themselves. No, I've had And they guys, would pay you money to do this? No. Mm -mm. I've had guys DM me about that. I think that's so uncomfortable and weird. It's sickening to me. But so where, why are you, do you have objections to that sort of harm? But, you, I mean, you would be harming them financially by continuing to accept their money to the point of uh, eviction, homelessness, bankruptcy. They can't pay for their medical bills. I know it's not the same, but there is a harm that's occurring to them. So what's the difference? I mean, like I said, I never really know for sure what's going on. If that is actually happening or if they're just lying, that's part of their fantasy. But don't the, these men tell you, like, I might be, oh, it's, it turns me on, I might be evicted. Turns me on, I might, you might bankrupt me. If I'm going to be honest, no. This is like, Twitter mm. is not real to me. I honestly don't even see these guys. Uh, I don't, anymore. okay, I mean, Can I, I don't I know if I believe you, but. I, uh, I, I mean, I agree with you, Brian, I, you know, but. It's not the same, so I just want to start saying it's not the same, but I think, like, these guys, it's an addiction. Mm. It's the same if you're, like, an, not the same, okay. It's similar if you're an addicted 
gambler. Like they're going to keep spending money. They're going to go completely bankrupt. Are the casinos going to close their doors? Like, no, like it's, it's a cruel world. I mean, I don't know what to say. Like I, there's going to be other women if they won't do it. I mean, I understand your line of questioning and I don't agree with what they do, but it's sort of, Hmm. it's an addiction and the guys need to go get help Mm -hmm. as addicts as well. Hmm. It's, it's like a dual blame in my opinion. That's actually a good argument. I'm not sure if I immediately have a rebuttal to the com- casino comparison here. Uh, there could People be some- lose their life savings because they're such addicted gamblers. Like They need to go to therapy. We don't yeah. blame the casino. This is actually a decent argument. I'm sure there's actually a rebuttal to it, but it's not occurring to me immediately. Um, there, maybe there's a component of, like, there's a more, it's more personal. Yeah, the comparison is they're humans. So, so they should about, have but, empathy. But, but how about, no, no, like, no, actually, I, I do have a bit of a rebuttal. Maybe Andrew can join in. So the casino is not going to be privy to the fact that the individual is nearing bankruptcy because this individual is not likely to make disclosures. Uh, to the casino, oh, by the way, I'm going bankrupt. They're not going to, this is not something that's going to be communicated to the casino. The casino has. Do you think a, they would care though? The, probably not, but yeah. the casino has no way of vetting for this. The casino uh, is a sort of faceless corporation. There's dozens, hundreds, thousands of employees. Yeah. There's layers to it. Whereas this is a very, uh, very like immediate connection. And the men are making disclosures to the individual woman that I am going bankrupt, so the, the, the woman has become now aware of the circumstances of the man, and does she have a duty or a responsibility to, uh, for example, I'll actually give you a counterexample. A bartender who is aware that a patron is Alcoholic, yeah. reaching the point of intoxication to such a degree that he is at a harm of himself. I think there's actually criminal, potential criminal civil liability for a bartender who continues to pour, pour, pour while this person is essentially uh, arriving towards uh, arriving towards alcohol poisoning. And I do think maybe, Andrew, do you know about this? There's like cases where uh, if, a, if a, pay, uh, a drinker, a patron at the bar gets a DUI and it can be proven that the like the I think I feel like I've heard something like this. I could can be I making this up, but they could the bartender could maybe even be held liable in some degree. Andrew, any that you want to? I but think that that's um, that's based on locality, state, you know, different uh, different various laws. I I understand what you're saying that if the bartender continues to serve you when you're drunk, they could be held liable. That's true, but there's also all sorts of laws which, uh, in different states, exempt them from liability. But here's here's the thing, ultimately, Brian. Like I'm thinking about this, right? The more the more that we talk with these like femdoms, and you know what, Brian? Fuck it. I'm just gonna. So the crucible's gone dark. Okay, so it is now the dark crucible, and I'm on my fucking degenerate arc. And so here's what we're gonna do. If any of you stupid is out there oh. want to send me all of your Money. Oh, okay. If you want to send me all of your money to treat you like shit, go ahead. Go ahead, and if you want to send all your money to Brian to treat you like shit, just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead. Yes! That's awesome! I, I, will, I will do Findom. I will do Findom. Can I Findom you, Kylie? Um, I decline that offer. Is it because I'm white? <laughs> racist. <laughs> racist over here. All right. Um, I okay. Um, ne- I guess we'll do the next tweet. I guess. Oh my god. I did want to add something about the casinos. Though. Oh wait, Andrew. I mean, kind of going. Oh, go ahead, casino. Yeah, I did want to add something about the casinos. I worked in a casino, um, and they did have people. They were, they were, when they were borrowing money from the casino to gamble because they couldn't pay back. When they couldn't get pay back, they'll be cut off. So they did have the same thing, hmm. and they That's also. That's good. I didn't know that. And they're also telling blackjack dealers or anyone, if you see someone coming back over and over again, over over gambling, you have to let know the security guards so to stop them. Well, one, one thing on that, so so I, I don't gamble, so I'm, I don't think I've even ever gambled, so I'm not really familiar at all with how casinos work, but uh, 
you said that they, if so, if somebody's borrowing money from the casino, they'll cut them off. Yeah. But is it this? Is this because of compassion for the individual, or is it because we now recognize as a as a uh, company that if we allow this person to borrow too much? the likelihood that they'll ever be able to pay it back. So there, there's just like an arbitrary, yeah. we only it allow people that. to to borrow 5,000, 1,000, whatever it is. So I don't know if it's like out of some sort of compassion as it just like it's to protect the bottom line, protect the casino from not, uh, because they might not be able to get the money back. Well, be- there's an easier defeater for the argument. And the defeater is just that the casino casino and gambling dens are not purposely banking on their clientele being mentally ill. So casinos are going to make money, maximum money, by you being able to continuously create money for yourself, generate revenue for yourself, so then you could then give a small portion of it to the casino. So the more mentally stable you are, the better off the casino actually is. Most people only gamble recreationally. Very few of them get addicted. In the case of femdoming, uh, the mental illness aspect, I think, is just kind of baked in. The idea here that men would want to purposely uh, be degraded and uh, you know, have to step on things like this. Uh, that that seems like that is the banking demographic, right? Yep. <laughs> Take it away, Morgan. Oh gosh. Yeah, casinos. They also like since we started talking about casinos, they are supposed to um, uh, like if uh, the person in Gamblers Anonymous in GA, they supposed to. Uh, uh, kick this person out of the casino yeah. if they put themselves. I tested myself. I am in GA, uh, in Gamblers Anonymous. Wow. Uh, I put my name, I called the casinos, <coughs> put my name on the list. They didn't care. Oh, really? They oh, didn't care. No. I'm just saying there's some personal responsibility if you are an addict, just like we talked about the bartender and the alcohol. We're talking about the casino. We're talking about them. Yes, there is a mental illness component. Is addiction a mental illness? I, I don't know, but... You know, it's addiction, so there, like, there is responsibility for both parties. Is really all I'm yeah. saying with that argument that both parties yeah, have the responsibility to um, stop it. Both I, parties. I agree that when it comes to addicts, that addicts have to also help themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. What I'm saying yeah. is that the purpose of the din itself is not to create addicts. It's just to make money, uh, giving a recreational activity. It's not designed yeah, to create addicts. I would say, for instance, a tobacco company. They actually design a product to create addicts, right? Their product is designed specifically for that. For casinos, that's not actually a really good model, right? They don't want addicts. They want people to um, instead be making money to give a portion to them. If they become destitute, they can't continue to do that. Well, the house always wins, and I have mm-hmm. heard that casinos do certain things, especially in Vegas, they'll pump the air in the casino like yep. full of more oxygen to keep people awake longer and keep them up and keep them addicted mm-hmm. and keep them going to not know yeah, what so time to keep them addicted. So what, what, keep, what is that? That's like a manipulative yeah, well, tactic. No, just, okay, but, but uh, comedy clubs and all sorts of entertainment venues will do uh, all sorts of tricks like that too, like hiding clocks and various things, the idea here being that the more fun you're having, the more money you're going to spend. That's true. But the idea there is not to get you destitute. The casino would look at this long term. They'd say it's much better for you to come in once a month and spend $2,000 than one time in a month and spend $25,000 and then become destitute because then long term will make less money off of you. So that's not their intention to do. Whereas I think with a uh, kind of a thing like this, the target demographic are going to be the mentally ill. I mean, I don't see two ways around that. I think most of these men are going to be uh, highly irregular in society and mentally ill for sure. The casinos do allure you if you the more money you spend, you start getting hotel rooms, private jet flights to Vegas. No, that's usually if you win, right? No, so no, no, no. That's, that's if you give them money. That's that is, you not give if you them win. money. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can get points and things like that, right? If you you call you're called a high roller, but the idea there too is just to keep you at their casino versus going to another to spend your money, not to make you destitute so you can't continue to spend money. Is it, why would that make uh, sense from a casino standpoint to make you destitute? That they would prefer that you're not. They would prefer that you just drop money every single month so over the long term they make the maximum amount, right? It's just good business. 